What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 Italy AI only battle. I hope you're enjoying it so far. It's been it seems like it's been enjoyed, so I, I hope people are actually enjoying it. Um it's doing very well. That's obviously I can only tell through the numbers and the nice comments. But yeah, I think everyone's enjoying it, so we're gonna keep going. It's nearly turned 350, but this is a smaller map, so we can actually run probably quite a bit further. The only issue we could have is if the Gauls maybe, you know, move too many units in a turn. But if we try and not look at them, it generally is okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to try and go as far as we can. We'll do the Info Addicts at 350. I was supposed to get up the names of the winners, and now I've started, I realise I have not done that. That is really bad. What I'm going to do is... What am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Gonna, I'll, I'll figure it out, okay? I'm going to be very creative. I'm going to try and try and get them up without you noticing. That's That's the plan. Which I can actually do because I have, if you don't know how, I, rec I use a recording program that shows the game screen on the other screen. So I have two screens, one's got the game on it, one's got the recording. Obviously the record, if I leave the game window, Civ doesn't seem to like it so it will disappear. But it should stay in the recording. So once I hit next turn, I should be able to open Chrome. Okay, I can't see anything right now so hopefully nothing's happened. Open Chrome quickly, drag it to the other tab. And I should be able to watch it, although I think it might freeze on Monaco, so we might actually be out of luck there. <laughs> yes, okay. But, nonetheless, we will make sure we get those shout-outs ready. Let's, um, you know, it's always nice. This is this is very, very high-quality production. Here we go. I found it, episode one. Let's see. Um, there we go. I've opened it. Okay, well, that's open now, so I can go through that when necessary. So that's fine. Okay, we've got it open. Let me... Oh. There's an ad on it. I'll have to watch that or we'll have to wait again later on. Very creative times, but here we go. We'll reopen the game and get it going again. Sorry about that delay. Um, and yeah, there we go. Now I do have access to that video. So you can get your shout out. It's only fair, you know, if, if it was you who'd predicted it right, I'm sure you'd want me to do it for you too. So here we go. Oh, seriously, too many tabs, too many windows. Civ 5 for some reason, and it's only recently it hates it when you click out of the game window onto like another, the other monitor. I don't know why, and it's very annoying. But now we're fully back. That was an entertaining behind the scenes into um, the sort of petty issues you have to deal with if you're a content creator that has a bad memory and knows that if I if I just did it with and like went quiet and did it, I would forget it and not edit it out. That would happen. I'm pretty sure I've done that in the past. I've said, oh, well, I'll edit out this 30 second silence while, I'll, you know, if there's like the postman's knocked on the door or something, and I'll just forget. <laughs> I'll just forget, and you'll probably just have 30 seconds of silence. I'm sure I've done it. There's thousands of videos. I, it's definitely happened. I'm, especially when I'm recording a few days in advance, which for this series, I am two to three days ahead. Of everyone I'm doing pretty much when I can two episodes every day which means and then putting out one a day so there's always a bit of a bit of a backlog for when I can't record which works well but at the moment I don't believe we have too many wars Rome and Carthage are still sort of going at it but with not much progress oh no Yugoslavia is with Bosnia again right like Valachia not Bosnia so we should see oh this is it look 350 will 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 Valachia get there they go last of course or will they be gone See, always perfect timing. We found it in the end. Is it going to happen? Yugoslavia, you got this? You going to take it? Their turn is taking forever all of a sudden. Of course it is. It's because we're staring at them. Oh, they just miss out. So Valachia will survive to the turn. 350 info addict check. Well done. Good job. Italy's still, Italy's still going as well with that unit somewhere. The ghouls. I don't know where exactly Italy are hiding out at the moment. Uh, there's a Milan workboat there, I can see. Uh, we'll have a look at the technologies in a second, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm just going to save again because it's one turn before the auto save kicks in, and I don't want to open it and it just crash and we have to redo everything. There we go. Into the info addicts we go. The Gauls' score has actually gone down. I have no idea. I don't know if they've maybe hit a cap. I don't know. But <laughs> there you go. They've dropped a little bit. Look at this, by the way. I don't know what caused this. Must have been something, obviously, but at that point, they were very close to Rome. I feel like that was a long time ago, and this is, like, really, this is very stretched out, and then this was ages ago, because Rome being very close to them, that was, this is like, it's kind of how the episodes and the turns sort of 
the amount of turns per episode changes. This is probably like the end of episode three, right? And then this is everything since. We've got the drop of, although Rome dropping was more linked. Rome, I don't, Rome didn't lose all too much, but they are still on a sort of downward trend. You've got the massive rise in Yugoslavia more recently to catch them. Monaco or Carthage, whoever this, I think Carthage has now overtaken Monaco. Yep. Yeah. Then you have Rome, currently sat in fifth. Bosnia in sixth on a steady progression. We may by you know, some point see them get past Rome. Then we have Austria, which is just about surviving. This is Wallachia, I believe, just dropping by city by city, down here below Austria. The Vatican will be one of these lines, and obviously some of those civs, Milan, Italy still have a unit, which explains the other lines. I'm just going to see if, see, I, li I will still look at the World Factbook for numbers. I'm just wondering, is this graph, the graphs now, there's not enough civs really left, or there's so few left, that the graphs can be kind of cool. So you can see the Gauls have lost a lot. Do you know what it is? I think they're, they've hit zero money. So they're making no science, and that's why Monaco, if you did briefly see that literacy list that popped up, Monaco was ahead of them for text. I think the Gauls have run out of money, so that's why they're dropping quite drastically. Carthage, I believe, then is now in second. Bosnia sits still in third place. Yugoslavia and Monaco about the same amount, but Yugoslavia just lost some units in a war. Look, if you didn't declare the war, they probably would have followed the same path as Bosnia. Then there's another white sieve. Oh no, sorry, that's Monaco. I was coming from here. Yeah, we've already seen that's Monaco. Austria has actually overtaken Rome now, which is a bit concerning for Rome, and Vallecchia has fallen to the bottom. Net gold, yeah, look, the gold's massively negative compared to the rest of the world, although Bosnia is now negative too. Um, GMP, in terms of income, the Gauls are still number one. I'm just going to see if there's interesting ones. Monaco's, I believe that's Monaco. Um, it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, that is Monaco. It's a slightly different shade of white. If you're watching like on a phone or something, you've probably got no chance of seeing that. I can just about tell. Monaco's gold has shot up still and is still going up. That is the Gauls sort of peaking and then it's dropped very rapidly. See Bosnia, Rome's also at zero. Um, Yugoslavia is still gradually going up, as is Carthage. Okay. Uh, trade routes, not as important. Happiness, the Gauls with a bit of a drop and a rise. Science output, yep, the Gauls have fallen, but most of the other civs doing okay. So I think the Gauls have probably got the biggest gold deficit. Manufacturing again, yep. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Population, there you go. Oh, the Gauls population dropping. I guess that's an, that's not to do with money. Don't know what's happened there. Maybe they've just ran out of food in some cities because you know, they haven't expanded for a while. Carthage is still climbing. Full for Yugoslavia. There's Monaco still growing gradually. This is quite cool. We'll do the we'll do the stats as well. Don't worry. Rome um, has sort of kept, just kept themselves above Bosnia. It got close and they've just pulled ahead again. Crop yield. The Gauls, yeah, there you go. They've leveled off. They've not really added anything recently. Carthage then in second. And we have Yugoslavia and Monaco. Rome a bit further down. There's Bosnia, who have been very flat for a long time. Bosnia have not expanded pretty much since the beginning. Tex, that is not so useful. I can't really see what's going on in there. Same there. Land area, though, that is cool. The Gauls only overtook Rome back here, which is 1595 AD. I mean, again, like I said, that's probably episode 3 or 4. Um, when they overtook Rome and then skyrocketed here, which was probably the I think this is like a five turn, ten turn spell. So maybe the conquering of Morocco or something like Morocco, <laughs> Milan. There is that big jump. Then they climb a bit. Then they stagnated and they are growing again now. I'm guessing that's just some sea tile growth um, where they can access the sea because obviously everywhere else they've filled out the map. Carthage, big jump, but mostly just going up. That was obviously the Rome War. Rome have been stagnant for a while and just sort of gradually going up, down, but mostly down. Huge jump for Yugoslavia. Bosnia has gone up a tiny bit because they have some, I think they put down a citadel that did give them some access to the sea recently. And Austria, yeah, look, they've been pretty much the same for for a long time. And there's Wallachia losing their cities. Cities itself, yep, there's the Gauls. This is not, again, as useful, but Rome did up for a much long, quite a while have the most. And then dropped off, but no one really competed with that peak of Rome. Like, no one else has touched the peak of Rome since Rome was at that peak, if that makes sense. You know, Carthage hasn't got this high, neither's Monaco. Yugoslavia is kind of on track. You know, if they kept going and expanding, they would. Um, if they kill Bosnia or Austria, then maybe we'll see. Um, culture, again, not as useful, but the Gauls leading, then it's a bit of a mess in the middle. 
Uh, that's not too Torres, but that is also pretty gross graph. That's pretty gross. The Gauls still lead the way. Rome still has a lot of great works. If someone was to kill um, Ro the city of Rome, which is nowhere near actual Rome, but you know, if someone was to kill it, they would get a lot of great works. And then you have Yugoslavia jumped up all the way to second in that category above Austria. So that's, I think, Yugoslavia, when we look at the actual stats, may have really messed up the order if we'd have used the normal point system, um, which we're not going to, because like I said, I think if we keep going, we may reach a point where it's just, it might be clear which position everyone's in. Faith gain, oh my goodness, that's like vertical at points, and then it just miles ahead. Oh, look, oh my goodness, that's totally, yeah, the Gauls, I don't believe, have their own religion. So that's just why it's just <laughs> ridiculous shaped graph. But we'll do the world fact book now, just um, make things easier. So population, the Gauls lead the way with 132 million. Carthage have 102 million, 77 million then for Yugoslavia, 74 for Monaco, 43 for Rome, 40 for Bosnia. 21 for Austria, 8 for Wallachia, and 2.7 for the Vatican. Crop yield is next. The Gauls with the most at 1.05 billion. There you go, I can do decimals. Carthage, 768 million. Yugoslavia, 644. 640 for Monaco, so there you go. Yugoslavia has definitely broken into that top three, top top four. If the, you don't include the Gauls, though, it's the three that are fighting for second. Rome then sits in fifth ahead of Bosnia, then Austria, Wallachia, and the Vatican. Production, the Gauls again leading the way with 1.5 billion tonnes. Then it's Carthage at 846 million, 706 for Yugoslavia, 8, 570 Monaco way off there. And then it's Rome very close at 561. Austria down at 379 ahead of Bosnia, and it's Wallachia and the Vatican filling out the other nine. Biggest economy goes to the Gauls, then Carthage, then Monaco in terms of income. Yugoslavia then in fourth ahead of Rome, then it's Austria, Bosnia, the Vatican, and then Wallachia. So I'm guessing probably because Wallachia has no trade routes and the Vatican will do. I have no idea how the two Sicilies are making five gold per turn, but good job. Land area. The Gauls lead the way with 5.48 million square kilometers, and it's a bit of a drop to Carthage at 4.2. Of course, that does include sea tiles if you're new and you're a bit confused because they don't look anywhere near as big. It does include, it just includes every tile as far as I'm aware. Yugoslavia then sit in third place now ahead of Monaco and Rome. Then it is Bosnia, then Austria. The Vatican is now bigger than what remains of Wallachia. Military manpower, the Gauls have dropped from 2.1 million to 1.6 million. That, I would be worried if I was them. I mean, by eye, all their tiles are still full, so I wouldn't be too worried, but that is a big drop of nearly 25%. Uh, Carthage then sits in second at 1.39 million, 1.1 million for Bosnia, 900,000 for Yugoslavia, 875,000 for Monaco. I wonder if Yugoslavia, if we added these up, Yugoslavia might be beating Monaco. Um, then it's Rome, Austria, the Vatican, and Wallachia well off. Two Sicilies have a unit somewhere which gives them that much, and obviously I'm Morocco spectating. Social policies, Monaco tied for first with the Gauls, then it is Bosnia on 25, then there's another big drop to Austria and Yugoslavia and Rome on 23, 22 for Carthage, 21 for Wallachia, some of these are dead, 17 for the Vatican. Is anyone negative happiness? Yes, Carthage is on minus 3. Technologies then, from the bottom of those that are alive, the Vatican have 51, 60 for Austria, 61 for Wallachia, 63 for Rome, 69 for Bosnia, and in the race for 80, Carthage have 71, Yugoslavia now up to 73, 75 for the Gauls, and Monaco on 77. Which I believe is because they are making less science, because they're losing money. That's why the Gauls, and they have more cities, so it costs them more to get techs as well. We're not using net gold at the moment, but as you can see, the Gauls down there losing 938 per turn. That's outrageous. Um because they have so many units. Bosnia is also there. There will also be buildings, having lots of buildings. Um, but yeah, Bosnia is losing quite a lot as well, all things considered. Cities then, one left for the Vatican and Wallachia. I think Wallachia might be about to bow out of this game too next turn. Bosnia is on five, Austria on six, Rome on 11, Monaco is 17, Yugoslavia is now climbed right up there with 18, 19 for Carthage and 26 for the Gauls. Science output, Monaco with 2,000 ahead of Carthage, then it's the Gauls, which would explain why Monaco has overtaken them for tech, because they get techs for cheaper, and they have more science. Yugoslavia then in fourth, Rome in fifth, then it's Austria, Bosnia, Wallachia, and finally the Vatican. 
culture, the Gauls are still leading the way here ahead of Monaco, Rome, Carthage, Yugoslavia, Bosnia, Austria, Wallachia and the Vatican. Wonders, the Gauls have 13. Monaco 11, 4 for Rome, Carthage, 3 for Wallachia, 2 for Bosnia and Yugoslavia and 1 for Austria. The Vatican sadly do not have any. Uh, great works, the Gauls with 31, 30 for Yugoslavia, 28 for Rome, 23 for Austria, 22 for Carthage, 21 for Monaco. I think Monaco is definitely below Yugoslavia now. Um, just an opinion there. Not, not. I haven't counted it, but I'm guessing from just what we've seen, maybe Yugoslavia is ahead of them. Bosnia on 15, Vallejo on six, the Vatican with three, none for. No, everyone's got some. Sorry. Tourism. Finally, then the Gauls with 684 tourism. Yugoslavia 400, 376 for Monaco, 173 for Bosnia, 170 for Carthage. Rome at 163, so that's all pretty close. Austria, Wallachia, and the Vatican. So I think depending on what happens between Yugoslavia, Monaco, Carthage, Rome, and potentially Bosnia, the order is still very much up for grabs. Like some of them may not be able like I don't think Bosnia can come second, but they could overtake Rome, and depending on what happens elsewhere, they could overtake one of the others as well. I think it's still quite open, depending on what action happens. I think... For Austria, it's a bit of a stretch to imagine them beating any of those sieves unless they completely die. Biggest religions is still with Bosnia's religion. Um, the Bobov uh, no, sorry, the holy city is Bobovac. Buddhism in 36 cities. Gauls do have a religion, actually. They're just obviously not spending much of that faith to spread it. It's in 26 cities. Uh, Catholicism from the Vatican is in 8, as is Hinduism, which was formerly of Milan. So the Gauls haven't even converted that, so I don't know if they're just not bothering. <laughs> to get rid of it maybe they prefer milan's religion and are just keeping it maybe it has some nice different benefits and judaism then from Wallachia in one city which i'm guessing is targo viste in the corner which is about to be a probably wiped out this turn what we'll do is we'll do this turn and then i will quickly give our shout outs to everyone who correctly predicted the gauls and then next episode we'll have a lot more action as we just sort of keep pressing next turn for as long as it will possibly let me do it. But here we go. Yugoslavia continuing to climb that leaderboard. And this is of course a capital city um, of Wallachia. So it is going to probably come with some great works. Some good science. Some good culture. Good production. It's probably it's 25 pop. That's probably going to yeah 18. But there's no way Wallachia gets it back. So again Yugoslavia only increasing their score. And potentially, maybe I'm getting carried away, maybe their claim for second place with that. I think they might have to do a little bit more, but they're certainly in a good place to do more. You know, Monaco is not really able to do anything apart from fight Carthage or Rome. Like, they're not going to fight the Gauls. So there you go. Yugoslavia does take that. And now then, on to what we've all been waiting for. Who predicted the Gauls? Not me. I've actually forgotten who I picked, but it wasn't the Gauls. <laughs> Typical me to forget. Uh, but here we go, straight away, Norris P, congratulations, you picked the Gauls. Um, let's see, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope, oh, it's sad, it's sad, isn't it, seeing, um, someone said Gauls are very tempting, That's, you need to be, it wasn't quite there, um, someone put their, put, f floop, you, I'm going to give it to you, you put, you're putting your money on Rome, Austria, or the Gauls, so I'll, I'll give it to you, um, very uncertain, but there we go. Donald, you also said the Gauls, so congratulations to you too. Uh, do, 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 do. I, I need to check, because sometimes there's hidden comments underneath the other ones. Don't want anyone to miss out. If I do miss you out, just leave a comment, and I'll give you one in the next episode. Uh, the Flemish clone trooper, well done, Flem. Congratulations, regular multiplayer player on the streams. Thank you so much for taking part in those, and congratulations for getting the right pick. Um, did anyone else? I like this. Someone rooted for Monaco because no one else was. That was nice of you. Um, I think that might be it. I don't think there was too many Gauls picks. Yep, yeah, no, that is it. Sorry. If there, if you, if your comments hidden under another one or sorry or something, then just drop a comment on this video and I'll, I'll make. I would say I'll get you one for next time, but I'm going to record that right now, so it'll be the one after that. But you know what I mean. But yeah, we will go into the next one and see where this world goes because Yugoslavia obviously has killed off Valachia now. So we're pretty much at peace. It's just Rome versus Carthage. We have a Gauls military that is getting smaller. It doesn't appear to be, but it is. I don't want to hover over them for too long. 
but that would, yeah but that'll be it for this one so as always if you have enjoyed be sure to leave a like and a comment down below be sure to subscribe to the channel and try and help me reach 2,000 subscribers this year that would be much appreciated and i'll see you in the next one